B-roll will it make or break your YouTube videos? Let's get into it. Yo, what is going on guys? Breezy here today, Breezy is a brand new video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about B-roll. What is it, when do you use it, and do you need it? But before we get into that, I just wanna say guys, we are two subscribers away from hitting 200. Please hit that subscribe button. And I also made a Discord server because a lot of people were asking me about that. So if you're interested, join the server down below just create it brand new fresh nobody in there but me so hop on in but let's get right into b-roll shall we now what is b-roll now for me there's two meanings of b-roll well not two meanings but two use cases that you can use b-roll so basically b-roll goes over the a-roll footage and if you don't know what a-roll is that is the main footage of the storyline that's me talking right now this is the main footage me and you talking b-roll is a footage that's going to go on top of that and basically cut away from just me sitting here talking so i could be talking about a specific thing place person whatever and you can be seeing footage and images of that thing that I'm talking about. All right, I could be so, for example, I could be talking about um, a product, right? Let's take, let's take this PlayStation controller for once, right? Let's take this. So I could be like, oh, this controller works really well, fits in my hands perfectly. I kill noobs faster, you know, 360 quick scope, da 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 da. And I can show images and videos of me using the controller i could show product images of the controller now another thing where you could use b-roll is basically to cut away from everything basically like a montage kind of thing that's how i always look at b-roll too because you're not talking you're just cutting away to a uh, montage so for example i can make a video saying hey we're going to flagstaff this weekend I need to go shopping and prep for the car and then start the drive. I could then cut away and show you guys me packing the car, buying supplies, driving to Flagstaff, and then boom. That would also B-roll in my sense. Now, when should you use B-roll? You should basically use B-roll whenever there is a talking head and nothing going on. For example, I do this a lot in my videos where I don't shoot B-roll because I cannot be bothered, okay? I'm not even gonna lie. I cannot be asked. Which sounds really bad and really horrible to say that I can't be bothered. Because the thing is, I always like shoot B-roll, but it's never enough to actually fill out an entire video. Now let's take my previous video. I streamed every single day on Twitch for one week video. I didn't show any footage from my stream, even though I shot some footage on my camera, but it's because I missed two days out of that out of those days where I was actually shooting myself. Like I would set up the camera and have a camera pointed on me. And because I missed those two days of shooting the B-roll, I decided not even to incorporate it because two days were gonna be missing out of the entire week. And when in reality, I could have just went to Twitch and like the best clips, the best parts, anything like that, and just pretty much just chop that up put it in my video. So learn from me if you can. If you can't, then learn on your own. Shoot, Don't shoot B-roll and just see how boring your footage actually is. Now, do you need it? Yes. I'm not gonna say you need it for every single video, but for uh, most videos, you most definitely need B-roll, all right? If you're making gaming content, you don't need B-roll. Unless you want to well, unless you want to incorporate like a little montage in there. That, that's kind of like B-roll instead of you just making a simple cut come. Now, do you need it when you're vlogging? In some cases, I will say yes. It honestly genuinely depends on the video, what you're doing. But for most cases, I would say always have B-roll. Now, how much B-roll should you shoot? I would say more than you think. B-roll is one of those things that if you're gonna shoot it, you need to shoot a lot of it. There's no just like, okay, I got a clip of this mountain over here. I got a clip of me walking down the, sh the road. I got a clip of the car coming. You need to get multiple clips and different locations of the same clips. So in conclusion, B-roll is one of the most important things to a video. It can make or break the video. It can make it if you have the perfect amount of B-roll, you know, more than enough everything's be rolled out you have everything it could break it if you don't have enough of it because for example i've seen videos where like the first like we'll just throw out a number the first five minutes is amazing perfect b-roll shots car pulling up celebrities getting out and so and so and so and so da 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 and then it's like towards the end of the video the last 10 minutes or the last five minutes and it's just like 
what happened? This is just you guys talking. This is just you guys just walking around. Like, where did that amazing footage go? So be sure to always record more than you think. And honestly, guys, I'm going to end off today's video here. All right, two away from 200. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video. Join the Discord server if you would like to be a part of the community. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.